So we're gonna do setup and operation procedure on a 600 series SBCM. Tri-Tools clamshell is a collet style. It has six bolts to hold the frame together and the headstock, so you can snap it together. You wanna make sure when you snap it together that the ears totally engage to hold it together. That way you can make sure the halves are completely bolted tight. So that's all six of the uh, mainframe bolts and the headstock bolts. Take our collet for the back nut. There's uh, two wrenches. There's the one that holds the main housing while you tighten the spanner with the other one. Snug that up. We're also gonna go over the tool block adjustment. So we have a uh, star wheel tool on the star wheel. You run the tool block, put it about down in the middle of the uh, gibbs there to get started. Move this around so it's easier to see. So it's got two adjustment screws in the sides right here. So you put it in the center and you just want to touch it off so it's uh, taunt. You go back and forth to the sides. So you want the dual block so it doesn't rack back and forth, but so it's not overly tight. So you're just touching that off. and run it down all the way to the bottom of the slide. Make sure it's consistent. You always wanna bring the tool block up as you take out the backlash and the threads and then always remember to time the star wheel so the points are at six and 12. Bring it down into the center. Time it. Go ahead and grab our tool bit. So when you have thin schedule pipe, you can just run one tool bit to sever it off. We're just straight severing. And you can completely remove your other tool block and just run the one and that way you have a backup for a spare part. If you're running a heavier wall, you have to have a uh, two different tool bits to lead in the trail, one to cut relief for each other. Time in the start wheel. So the kit comes with your cordless uh, drill and you can go direct into that, but if you have a tight area, you can use the whip extension if you can't get the drill up in there. Tripper pins disengaged. Engaged.
So at the end, you notice I was skip feeding um, due to if you're on stainless or ink and ale material, you want to skip feed at the end so the bit doesn't bite as it's cutting through the pipe. And then I made a couple more rotations after the long piece was removed to get rid of your burr ring. Like I said earlier in the video, you can run just a single tool bit or tool block, remove the other one. Um, no sense in wearing it out when you're on a thin wall schedule pipe or tube.